Hey guys, it's Tessa from HandleTheHeat.com and today I'm so thrilled to be showing you how to make ice cream right in your own kitchen with no machine or ice cream maker required. I'm going to be showing you three simple no churn techniques that you can use with just the simplest ingredients and tools that you probably already have in your own kitchen. So be sure to watch all the way to the end for the best tips and tricks and also be sure to click the blog post that goes along with this video because I've included tons of flavor customization ideas for you to use to really get creative in the kitchen and I've also included a special bonus and that is really cute and adorable ice cream labels that you can print out and attach to your ice cream and make it a super fun and cute project. So if you'd like to learn how to make ice cream without a machine, then just keep watching. All right, so we're starting off with the easiest method and that's the two ingredient method. So for this ice cream, all you need is two cups of heavy cream that's been chilled and a can of sweetened condensed milk. That's it. We're gonna be adding some other flavor options, but that is all that you need. So with the cream in my KitchenAid mixer and the whisk attachment, I am just going to whip that up until it forms stiff peaks. And once that happens, I am going to add in my sweetened condensed milk, but not without taking a little taste of cream first. So I'm adding in one 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk, which I've actually also chilled. And I'm just slowly mixing that into the whipped cream. Then I'm adding in a bit of vanilla extract. And for this recipe, I'm going to turn this ice cream into peanut butter cup ice cream. So I'm adding in half a cup of peanut butter, which I've just briefly melted in the microwave, just enough so that it is pourable. Now I'm adding in half a cup of chopped up Reese's, piece, or Reese's candies. Um, you can add in any type of peanut butter candy you want, and you can add in any type of spread that you want. So instead of peanut butter, if you wanted to do Nutella or cookie butter or whatever, feel free to go nuts here. Just make sure that you freeze for six hours before serving that ice cream. Okay, so that was the two ingredient method. Now we're going to move on to the other methods, which you can use any ice cream recipe for. I'm gonna show you my favorite basic ice cream base. This is super simple. I just added one and a half cups, or one and a quarter cups of whole milk, which has been chilled, to three quarters cup of granulated sugar. And I just whisked that up until the sugar dissolved. Now I'm adding in two cups of heavy cream, which has been chilled, a generous heaping of vanilla extract and a quarter teaspoon of fine salt. And I'm just going to give that another little whisk until it all comes together. And now you can totally customize this base with any flavors you want, or you can just keep it vanilla. I decided to do mint chocolate chip for my flavor, and I just added in one cup of mini chocolate chips, a teaspoon of peppermint extract, and a few drops of green food coloring. The food coloring is totally optional. I'm usually not a fan, but for some reason, you just gotta have green when it comes to mint chocolate chip. So for my other flavor I wanted to do is mocha. So I added in two tablespoons of espresso powder and um, a cup of Dutch processed cocoa powder. Now you can use any cocoa powder you want. I just love Dutch processed because it is so deep and dark in color. It just makes for a beautiful result. So for this mocha ice cream, I'm actually going to use the freeze and stir method. I've just placed the ice cream mixture in a shallow baking dish and popped it in the freezer for 30 minutes. And now I'm just going to whisk it up. You can see it's starting to get a little bit of frozen bits in it. And I'm going to basically repeat this process, popping it in the freezer for 30 minutes, whisking, putting it back in the freezer, whisking until it starts to form a thickened ice cream um, texture and you know that it's ready when it starts to kind of stick to the pan and hold the shape of the pan. So it takes about two to three hours for this process all together. And once you're done, you can pour the ice cream into a container, a sealable container, and you're good to go. And of course, you have to have a little taste before you do that just to make sure it's good. The next method is the plastic bag method. And you may have done this in science class in school or for a summer project. But basically, you place your ice cream mixture in a quart size bag. You may need to use two quart size bags. Um, I had a little bit left over, but I just used the one. And then place it in another quart size bag because we want to make sure it's perfectly sealed. Now we're placing those two bags in a freezer bag and adding in four tablespoons of coarse salt. You saw that I used ice cream salt, but you can also use regular salt. Ice cream salt does work best, but regular salt will get the job done. 
So to that salt, I added also um, about four cups of ice. I actually ended up adding more ice than you see here. Um, our ice maker was being a little uncooperative, but what you do is just shake it. You just shake it vigorously. Shake it like you have a vendetta against this ice cream. And once you're done, it'll look like soft serve ice cream and you can pop it in the freezer until it kind of gets a little bit harder. And that is the beautiful, creamy, luscious result. This one was the uh, freeze and stir method for my mocha chocolate ice cream. And then of course, one of my favorites, the two ingredient method for my peanut butter cup ice cream. Ah, oh, can't you just taste the bite? And don't forget to download my free ice cream labels at the link below. All right guys, so how easy were those three methods for making ice cream without a machine? I really hope you enjoy them as much as we do and you use them all summer long, maybe even into winter because let's face it, ice cream is good all year round. And I just adore these totally cute ice cream pint containers that you can get off Amazon. I've linked to them below and they make for such a fun project. So many flavor customization options. It's pretty much limitless. So really get creative here and I'd love to hear your favorite ice cream flavors that you plan on making with these recipes. So leave me a comment below. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time with another food video. And right now I'm gonna take a bite of my peanut butter cup ice cream because it looks and smells amazing. Mm. So rich and creamy. This was the um, sweet and condensed milk and cream method and it just is it'll blow your mind if you haven't made this before so i'll catch you around soon